I'm starting here. So just a quick question about um, how to run a couple of motors with one button. Uh, it's me. Okay. So your standard, you have to do this in Robot C. You want more than one uh, motor to run off the same button, uh, but it's not too bad. So you start with a repeat forever loop. You're, um, when you're controlling with the controller, you're always forever checking the controller until he stops. But as far as the program knows, it's never going to stop. Um, <clears throat> so you have your remote control commands right here. This is most of what you're going to use in your basic programs. Uh, so we're going to start with tank control. Uh, channel D and channel A are up and down on the left and right controllers. You can see the D and the A are, are up and down on both of those. This 10 here, leave this alone. If you put this to something else, you're going to mess it up. What do you need? Be quick, I'm doing something. Okay, I'll check with you in a minute, okay? All right. Um, <clears throat> now, for any other besides your uh, left and right drive, if there's any other motor you want to use, we use this arm control command, even if it's not an arm. It's just kind of a generic name. Um, <clears throat> and this is where the buttons come in. So if you want motors 10 and 11 to operate off L up and L down, this is it. You're done. Okay? So motor 10 will run off of L up and L down. Motor 11 will run off of L up and L down. And that's it. So now we push L up and L down. Um, they'll both do the same thing. Now, if they are... Hang on. If they are two motors opposing each other, facing each other, and they're both connected to the same shaft, one of them will need to be reversed. And there's a variety of ways to do that. So um, you could just switch L up and L down here to make it go the opposite way. You could make the 75 negative. I prefer on my motor and sensor setup, if your two motors are 10 and 11, to just reverse one of them right here. That way in the program, as far as it's concerned, like if, you, if you're running a arm, positive is up, negative is down. And I always like to configure everything that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you're doing something later, you'll know if you want to lift up, it's positive and down is negative. If you just always get in the habit of doing that, it's going to save you some trouble later on. Uh, but that's it. That's how you get two motors to run off of one button.